welcome to Pleasure Sports. Today we're going to take a look at Billabong's Zero Furnace Wetsuit. This is actually a two millimeter wetsuit. Um, I have it turned inside out on the left so you can appreciate all the features um, of the suit. So this is top of the line. We've got the gummiest neoprene on the market. You've got some of the um, most proprietary uh, materials used in the suit. And I want to be able to show you what you're actually getting for your money. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is this um, interior of the suit. It's actually called the Drymax Furnace Lining. It's the world's um, most advanced thermal material on the market. Um, this is actually exclusive to Villabong. It's super lightweight, so um, you, usually uh, neoprenes can be different weights depending on their quality and how much um, gas is in the neoprene itself. And what they've actually managed to do is make the neoprene lighter in the suit, which is fantastic. So you've got a lightweight thermal lined um, lining, and it's composited of some unique functioning layers to create a material that's not only keeps you warm, but it's drier. It's also more lightweight, and um, it actually um, soaks less water. So it's a lot lighter suit because it's able to drain the water away from the core. Um, the internal furnace knit, um, this is increased volume. These, this actually traps in the body heat that your body actually produces, heating up the water that gets into the suit. Um, this, this actually has some high and low points on the material, so there's actually a texture here. Um, on the lower points, it actually is, is how it's reducing the water, moving it away from the body. Um, the actual neoprene itself has a carbon thermal membrane, and this keeps the heat in. Um, there's an air light foam core. Uh, this is exclusive again to Billabong. Um, this actually is really stretchy, um, and it actual, actually has uh, extra sandwiching to trap and block um, the water from actually penetrating the neoprene. And what that actually means to you is um, what you'll see around the neck here on the collar is that um, it's actually been sandwiched here so that the raw neoprene isn't exposed so that water doesn't get absorbed and make the suit heavier. You'll also notice around the zipper on the chest the same thing. This neoprene has been sandwiched, like almost ironed shut to keep it closed. Um, inside here you'll see an open cell um, and you'll see the difference between that and this here which has been sandwiched and it's like very tiny and narrow and that again makes the suit so much lighter and um, it's also really fe feels really more natural and comfortable on your skin. Um, let's take a look at the outside of the suit. Two millimeter thick neoprene throughout. Um, this is uh, actually called AX1 Superflex. Um, you've got a, a glide skin material on the chest, water repellent, wind resistant. Uh, if any water were to penetrate the side here of the suit, it would drain out these three pinholes. We've got large panels, uh, anatomically cut, engineered suit to fit the body naturally so you don't have extra water pooling in the suit so that you don't have to spend more energy on um, trying to heat up water uh, that's unnecessarily pooling in the suit. So pre-bent knees, lower back, nice contours on the shoulders and the elbows. <clears throat> really great padded knee pads, really strong uh, material, really tough, not laminated but sewn on, so it's really wonderful. Um, what I love about this suit is the seam construction. Um, along the seam, there's no stitching. It's actually welded the seam. Um, what that actually uh, affords you is the opportunity to be able to really stretch out in this material. So you can see how gummy this suit is. Um, sometimes when you have stitching on a seam and you go to stretch out, um, the seams actually limit the amount of stretch in the suit itself. This is incredible. There's no seams underneath the arms. It really allows you to maximize the stretch. I can't even stretch as much as this thing would allow me to. Um, it's so gummy. Um, beautiful suit. I actually believe that you can wear the Billabong suits in a little bit chillier water um, than you would, say, uh, another uh, brand's two millimeter suit. So I've actually worn a two millimeter suit in some Southern California uh, waters where I would typically wear a 3.2 and I've gotten away with my 2 millimeter. I don't know if it's because of the seam construction or the materials, but um, I believe it's these technical materials and the seam construction combined um, that uh, allow me to stay warmer in a thinner suit that feels more natural to me. Um, the way you get in the suit is it's a chest zip. You zip away from you. It has what's called the Zero Dry Max Entry. This is a really wonderful zipper. Um, helps prevent water from flushing into the suit. Um, you've got a nice little cinch here, along with some glide skin, to create a nice tight seal on the shoulder, the wetsuit, so uh, not 
uh, unnecessary water flushes into the suit. Uh, again, always trying to protect the core because that's where your organs are, and your organs are there to, your heart's there to pump the blood out into the extremities. And we want to keep that nice and warm so that your body's performing optimally. Um, to get into the suit, you take it off the hanger, flip it over the shoulder. You'll see there's another piece of neoprene here with a, a neck and collar. Again, all this designed to prevent water from flushing into your chest uh, and keeping your body optimal as far as an energy perspective goes. And you flip this part over your neck. Um, this opens up really wide. You can step in this way, but what I love to do is to reach down into the armpits of my suit and flip it open. And that gets all that hot mess of stuff away from me. And now I can step in to my wetsuit naturally. Uh, get my legs in and my hips, which are the narrowest parts of my body, not my shoulders. So I don't want to be worried about that. So once I've got it up to my chest, then I can put one arm in at a time and get my shoulders into the suit. So it takes the mystery out of getting into uh, a suit that's uh, chest entry. Once I'm in, I'm going to put this front over the back, this first uh, gusset, and then I'm going to put the back over the front of that one, and then I'm in this suit. So it's a great um, broad opening, um, even if you're larger in scale. Um, I found that um, the stretchier material and combined with the technology of how the suit can open up, um, it allows for you to get in and out of the suit a lot easier. Um, there's a nice key stash loop in the chest. Let's take a look at the back. Um, you've got some drain holes here in the zero that are beautiful. Incredible color touches. I can't even, aesthetically, the suit is just hot. Um, you've got Drymax furnace technology again throughout the suit. We can see it here. Uh, I'll turn the suit around so you can see what it looks like. This is the same portion of the suit. This is just inside out, so we're staring at the back of the suit. No seams in the back butt here, which is great because if you had a seam there, you could blow it out by stretching and bending down. And they really thought the suit through. More of that glide skin material to um, prevent the wind <clears throat> and to wick the water away from our core so that we can stay warmer in the suit. Nice, um, again, anatomically cut, great piece of material here so that um, it's naturally uh, more comfortable so you don't feel like um, you have any tight zones when you're walking or trying to bend and squat. Um, great pre-bent knees and some uh, lamination embossment in the low back of the legs to help you be able to articulate the wetsuit a lot more naturally. Um, love the little touches of um, neoprene uh, uh, around the wrist. This again help this come back into shape so that this doesn't get blown out over time. Again, the sandwiching to prevent the neoprene from absorbing water. So everything that you could possibly think of has been thought through with this wetsuit. It's incredible from the materials to the construction to the seams to the placement of the panels. Um, and from the technology standpoint, this wetsuit is so light. Um, I don't know if that translates, but this is a super light wetsuit. And even moving up the furnace line, um, you'll, you'll notice that the zeros are super light. So um, if I missed any features, and I may, um, on the Zero Drymax suits, take a look at these Billabong suits on our website at pleasuresports.com.